Because if a cancer cell has more than six cancer cells distance to a blood vessel, it will not get nutrition enough and it will die. So those tumors, they will grow in the periphery and fall together in the middle. So they do not become smaller, they are bigger. So that can go on for 10, 20, 30 years, maybe it will never grow. But one day it happens for many, all those who get a cancer tumor, that these uh, tumors start to produce growth factors, VEGF, FGF, PG, GF. And these growth factors are going down to the uh, blood vessel here, to the receptor on the blood vessel here, all the receptors just like a keyhole, and they're attaching themselves to these receptors. And then they are causing some specific biochemical events in the wall here of the blood vessel, and one day, we see this process. A new vessel is starting to grow in the direction of the cancer. And that's what you see here. Now it has established contact with the cancer tumor. And there, of course, not only one vessel, but many vessels. So uh, now the tumor gets something to eat all the time. So now the cancer really starts to grow bigger than one millimeter. And that process here, what you're seeing here, is called angiogenesis, a production of new blood vessels from the existing blood vessels as we see here. That's why we give cyclophosphamide 50 milligram daily. That's why we give in that in combination with our other angiogenesis inhibitors. We have a lot of angiogenesis inhibitors today, like for instance, green tea, just to mention one. You could use uh, yeah, at least 500 different angiogenesis inhibitors.